Coming up in this video, five absolutely stunning cocktails with Jack Daniel's apple. Right, so the first cocktail I'm making with Jack Daniel's apple, I'm gonna bring the apple teeny into 2020, 2021, and maybe 2022 if this video lasts. So uh, it's a coupe glass, martini glass. I'm just gonna chill that down, get it nice and cold. We're gonna make this in a cocktail shaker. This is absolutely fun, this, love this. Right, ingredient number one, uh, Jack Daniel's apple. Super, super vibrant, 35%, so it's, it's liqueur strength. But you get the apple notes and you do get the whiskey. It's, it's so good, love this. Right, uh, 50 ml double bubble of JD apple. So that's your first ingredient. Ingredient number two, I'm going for some yuzu puree now. Uh, so it's the brand that I use, ODK, long life, shelf stable. It's perfect uh, for all you guys making drinks at home. It's perfect for pubs and bars that are not banging out. Uh, hundreds and hundreds of cocktails a week. So just cracking. These just keep so well even after opening. Uh, so I'm going uh, 15 ml of yuzu here. Yuzu puree. Yuzu kind of, you could sort of substitute it, sort of lemon, lime, um, sorry, orange, lime, kind of a little bit of grapefruit in there. It's kind of like Japanese citrus fruit, but it's very different taste. Love it. Right. Uh, now I'm going to balance that out with some freshly uh, squeezed lemon juice. So I'm going 15 ml of that. Then, it's a crazy sort of finish to this one. Crazy finish. Uh, I'm going for some Suze actually now, which is, I don't actually use that often, but I kind of, my palate's coming around to things like this. Kind of, it's just in a bitter, so it's gentian, gentian root, but kind of uh, bitter, uh, sort of an aperitif, and it just kind of dials down that sweetness a little bit. They just work really well. You don't need much, but I'm just going 10 mil. I think this does, I've tried, I played about with this. I think this does work really, really well with that whole sort of apple and yuzu kind of thing going on. So 10 mil of that. And then the final ingredient now for now, just to kind of balance this out, is just a little bit of sugar, not too much. Just going 10 mil of sugar in there. Again, just the taste. I don't think you'll need it, especially with the final ingredient that's coming in a second. Uh, I've done this before on this channel, but this is kind of a cool garnish. So, icing this down. Uh, and I definitely want you guys to come up with names for all of these cocktails. As always, so stick your name suggestions in the comments box below. Right, shaky, shaky, hard, fast shake. There we go. I'm just going to try this. Sugar should be fine for me. Oh, oh, oh. Right, uh, get rid of your ice out of there. Part one. Say it's another part coming in a second. We want to double strain this. Double strain that. Almost perfect. Plenty of room for what's coming. So, just gonna leave that there because I'll need that in a second. The, um, the, the garnish, the, well it's not the garnish, the finishing for this, I'm gonna do some apple foam. I've done these a few times on this channel now. Sort of like foam uh, layers on top. So I'm just going 50 ml of pressed apple juice. No need for anything else. Uh, you could use sugar syrups again just dial it back down but I'll just go in apple juice I don't need anything and then my secret ingredients Ms. Betters bitters uh, miraculous foamers these are bitters but think egg whites um, without the egg whites so shelf uh, vegan friendly shelf stable for years you just need and they don't they don't alter the taste at all if you use them properly and I'm just going for about a quarter a quarter of a pipette in there that's all you need if you're using half a pipette of course it's gonna alter the taste so they are just brilliant right a uh, bit more ice that should be fine in there and then again hard fast shake now what you'll see you'll see this froth up there look at that magic magic right so i've got kind of an apple froth on top here, and that should just kind of nicely float on top. Yeah. 
Lovely jubbly. Perfect. Just that little bit of subtle apple juice on top. And then to garnish, this is completely and utterly up to you. We've got apple notes in there, we've got a bit of yuzu. Um, I've not got much left, but I've got some kind of uh, well, I don't know, call them blitzed up sort of lemon peel on top. I'm just going that on top there. Kind of dried, blitzed up lemon peel. Just works. A treat. And there we have it. Oh. What happens to that? Because that is, that will have a little bit of sweetness to it and a yuzu, that soothes. This is, I'm gonna start using this a little bit more now in cocktails because I just think that is just, just gives it that little edge to it. Mm. That is vibrant apple dialed down. Really, really love that. Right then, cocktail number two. Let's just leave that there. It just needs to be washed up. Cocktail number two is gonna be a highball uh, serve. Oh, this is so good. Mm. Bits of mango, a little bit of ginger. Delicious. It's gonna get served up in a lovely highball glass. All my glasses, all my equipment comes from Drink Stuff in the UK. Absolutely brilliant company. Love those guys to bits. Right, first ingredient for this double bubble of uh, your JD Apple. There we go. Ingredient number two is some mango puree. There we go. Again, exactly the same as the Yuzu Puree I used a minute ago. Long life, shelf stable, they're just perfect for all you home bars, uh, pubs and bars that don't make cocktails that often. Uh, 20 ml mango puree. Long life, shelf stable. There we go, right. Get all that out. Ingredient number three is some uh, freshly squeezed lemon juice. I just want 15 ml of that. There we go. Uh, next ingredient, I want some ginger syrup. Again, you could make, make it yourself if you want to. Just grate up some fresh ginger and let it steep in some sugar syrup. Not a problem. Uh, just, uh, just easier for me to just bite in. Uh, and I'm going 10 ml of ginger syrup. These purees and uh, syrups and that come from drink stuff as well. UK, so you can all get everything for like that from them. Right, uh, and then there's a fine, one more, but two more ingredients coming. I've got some pressed apple juice again. I'm just gonna get the rest of the mango out. 50 ml double bubble of that. And I haven't mentioned as well, don't forget all the um, recipes are in the uh, description below. So go and check out the description. You get all the recipes, it's all there for you. All right, last ingredient to go is, if I can find it, some smoke and oak. Bitters. I just want a little bit of smokiness uh, just to come out with the apple of that. Just works a treat. Absolutely love this. Miss Betters Bitters, smoke and oak. And I'm just going for a quarter of a pipette. There we go, quarter of a pipette. These are just lovely. Mm. I'm not, my palate's changing. I never used to like smoky stuff, but it is changing quite a lot. So, that, there is one more ingredient coming after the shake, but I'm just gonna ice this down now. We're gonna give it some proper, proper, proper welly. And again, just need you guys to come up with a name for this cocktail. So hard, fast shake. Right, all that mango's blended in. Oh, it's good. Now, uh, you could, I'm going for soda water here uh, for the, to top up. You could use lemonade. I just think there's a little bit of sweetness here already and lemonade or Sprite or something like that, it's just a little bit too much. So I'm just going soda water and just 50 ml. I'm just gonna get the rest of that mango out. There we go, 50 ml, 25, 25. Double bubble. Right, that is it. Get on, there we go. That is it. Uh, so I'm just gonna single strain this into my glass. Say, as I always say, use that ice if you want to. Never in a puddle bar though, you want to do it properly in a puddle bar. So, 
uh, top it up with fresh ice. A little bit of crushed ice. Here we go. Now garnish for this. I haven't got any, um, but you could do uh, like an apple fan or something like this. I'm actually going just for ease. I'm going for a dehydrated lemon because I think that works quite well. Even a slice of mango if you want. Let's go crazy. And I'm just going for a sprig of mint as well. A sprig of mint. That one will do. Put that behind there. And there we go. So what are we calling this one, guys? Mango, apple. Oh, that is heaven. That is just pure heaven. Mm. Oh, absolutely love that. If that might that might be my favourite of the video. Or well, we don't know, it's a tough call, early doors. Right then, just before I crack on with cocktail number three, just need to give a massive shout out to my Patreons, my Patreon community, you legends. Uh, thank you so much for your love and support. Uh, my Patreon, your names will be down the bottom there. My Patreon is all about giving back my membership community. Uh, there's always a free cocktail book uh, that you can download for everyone. And I've just up updated that to version three as well. So it's a few months old, but it's a lot better than the free version as well. So download that. Uh, but the updated version, I update every month. And this month will be version six coming out. Uh, it just gets more and more cocktail recipes in there. That's a perk. It's obviously exclusive content. There's training videos. There's so much fun and banter in there. And you also, thanks to Trevor, uh, you also get the ingredients, pre-ingredients, if you want to play along on Sunday nights on my uh, my live streams as well. Let's so go and check out my Patreon and my Legends Club over there. Right, cocktail number three. Another fun, fruity one. Uh, it's going to get made in a cocktail shaker. The glass we're going for, it's another highball glass in there. And it was a bold call making that my favourite because this one is absolutely delicious as well. So uh, the first ingredient, no, we're not going double bubble. We're going 35 mil of uh, JD Apple. Absolutely lovely. Right, uh, ingredient number two, controversial. Haven't actually used this uh, much yet. I've got two rhubarb vodkas here. This is absolute juiced uh, rhubarb, and I've got uh, JJ Whitley's rhubarb. Very different in my opinions. Um, the ABV is pretty similar, 38.6, 35. The difference is this is blended with actual juice, rhubarb juice, so plain vodka with rhubarb juice. And I just think this works a little bit better in here. So 15 ml of uh, absolute rhubarb. Juiced, so that's that. Uh, I've got even more booze coming now because I'm going for some Chambord, some uh, black raspberry liqueur. I just want 15 ml of that. One five. Now we need our sort of our sour mix elements. So I want some freshly squeezed light, uh, lemon juice, 15 ml, and then I want a uh, Bit of sugar syrup. Now I'm going 15 ml of sugar in this one as well. The Chambord's not that sweet. Um, the rhubarb, I tell you what, I'm actually going 10 ml. I'll go 10 ml for this. I can always add a bit more. Always add a bit more. It's always, it's always easier to sweeten cocktails up than it is to sound them back down. And cocktails are always adjust the taste as well. So I'm just going, if I need to add a little bit more, I will do. Right, so that is it. There's one more ingredient coming after the shake. Wow. Uh, icing this up and you know I say it every single time stick your name suggestions uh, underneath in the comments what are we calling this one apple rhubarb raspberry oh. right hard fast shaky shaky there we go when that's all done oh. wow the rhubarb for 15 mil it's that rhubarb that punches through on that. Right, final ingredient. Lemon lime soda, Sprite, seven up, whatever you got. Just 50 mil double bubble of that. That's why I only put 10 mil of sugar in, not 15. Because if I was going soda in my head. There we go, 50 mil double bubble of Sprite. Right, single strain. There 
Here we go, fresh ice cubes. Keep the ice man happy going through all this ice. Let's top that with crushed ice. Crushed ice on top. Now I could garnish that. Jump cut and as if by magic, I always forget about my frozen blackberries in the fridge, in the freezer. So we could garnish that with that. Again, I think for the rhubarb, I'm going for another sprig of mint. Why not? Why not? There we go. Another sprig of mint. Why? Is this better than cocktail number two? <laughs> what do we reckon? Oh, different, so different. Oh, wow. I'm gonna have to think about that. So, so good. I have to say though, I'm leading you all up the garden path because I think this one coming up is gonna be my favorite. Julep, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of julep. Uh, it's my julep glass from Drink Stuff. I forget what it's called, Soho tulip or something like that and um, right this one straight in the glass 50 mil double bubble of your JD apple very very simple this one and uh, next ingredient tulips you kind of you know I don't I've made a few now on the show I love, do love a tulip uh, but I don't believe in sort of pressing the mint or muddling the mint at all so uh, you could do the mint first with the sugar and then sort of press it to get all that I don't think you need to at all let's chuck that in a bin right and that is that one's my garnish that's the one I'm saving just so you want about eight to ten mint leaves fresh fresh mint leaves palm your hand give them a spank that's all you need to do to wake the aroma there we go now the sugar element of this comes in two parts first off I'm going for some elderflower syrup. Again, you could use, especially if you're new in the UK, you could use bottle green elderflower cordial or something like that. Uh, for me, I just use the syrups because they are more shelf stable. Um, they don't go off. They, if you, the others, you have to keep in the fridge and use within a few weeks once open. These are absolutely fine for that. So 15 ml of elderflower sugar syrup in there. And then, where'd my lid go? There it is. Uh, and then I'm just gonna balance out with a bit more sugar. So 10, 10 mil of normal sugar. Tulips are normally sort of 25 mil in total of sugar. So we're going 10 mil of just plain sugar. Now, there is one final ingredient coming, and that is some bitters. And I think these bitters work so well. Ms. Betters bitters, black pepper and cardamom. The black pepper with the apple, again, I don't, I don't understand flavor combinations, why they work. I, I get, I can taste that they do work, but I don't understand why they do work. Crazy. Black pepper and apple, oh, so good. Right, quarter, quarter of a pipette of that. Now, there's no shaking involved in this, so I'm just going for a bit of crushed ice in there, a little bit more. There we go, that'll just do to now. Take your long bar spoon, not that one. We need to wash that, don't we? Let's get that one. Long bar spoon. I'm just gonna give it a churn and then bring that sort of limes through, uh, the mint through. There we go. Oh, the mint, the apple, the elderflower. Oh, the elderflower. Oh, that is, oh, that is magical. That is proper. I want to get the ice in there. I want more drink. Oh, garnish. Oh, that is so, so good. Oh, easily, easily by a landslide. Oh my God. That, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drink this now. That is so, so good. That is no disservice to them, but this is just another level. Proper, proper apple, julep, what are we calling this one? Right. Oh, there's some bangers in here. This is just such fun. 
such fun to play with. The final ingredient, a uh, final cocktail that I'm gonna do is kind of uh, an old fashioned. That is what I'm going for, but a very, very different old fashioned. So I'm going mixing glass. And we're gonna do this, gonna do this properly for you. So, um, well I say properly, my way of doing it properly. I don't do proper sugar and stuff, I use syrups. So, 50 ml double bubble of JD Apple. In there. Mix your glass, you could do it straight in the shaker, you could actually do it straight in the glass, it's not a problem. I just love using, I get more ice in there, more dilution. So, uh, now, apple, cinnamon is in the next one. Cinnamon uh, sugar syrup, uh, just 10 ml of cinnamon sugar. There we go. I just need a little bit more, little teeny weeny bit more sugar. So I'm going plain sugar uh, and just 10 ml of plain sugar in there. There we go. Then the final ingredient is some bitters. And I'm just going for sort of normal-ish aromatic bitters or Angostura, if you're an Angostura fan, Angostura bitters, but I'm just using Miss Bitters Bitters uh, Aromatic. Uh, again, quarter, quarter of a pipette. There we go, boom, done. Now again, bitters are just the taste, so if you want a bit more, go for a bit more. Now, uh, old fashions are stirred, so I'm just gonna start that off with a little bit of ice. I don't need to use that spoon. Hang on, two secs, we'll jump cut. It's like you never noticed the thing, did you? Right, just gonna stir this down. And traditionally you'd stir it for, well, until the ice. I always say until the um, ice is diluted so you've doubled the quantity of liquid. That's my own personal guide. I, that's my personal dilution. And uh, when I've been doing events, uh, no one's ever moaned because it's too watered down. Uh, some people, if you're making it at home, do it for your own personal tastes. So I'm just doing that. Uh, a bit more ice in there now. And say, so if you're gonna use uh, normal sugar, it takes a hell of a long while to kind of dissolve the normal sugar in there. That's why I use syrups and stuff. It's an event bartender in the past. It's all about syrups. And I also need to get myself a longer bar spoon as well. This is perfect. Um, it's much better than that because it's, it's more weighted, but I just need a longer one to make it more, even more balanced. All right, what are we calling this one? What are we calling it? A couple more ice cubes, a bit more stirring, apple and cinnamon, old fashioned, it's bo boring isn't it, boring. Right, how are we doing? That is steadily becoming, and and actually them, they're steadily, and do you know what? I love my back bar, absolutely love my back bar. I don't think I've got a bad drink amongst them yet. Right, uh, fresh ice, fresh ice in there. Uh, and then I'm gonna single strain this over there. Lovely, jubbly, and then to garnish, I'm going just very, very simple, uh, dehydrated orange, and then as I haven't had one uh, in this video, I just had to check then, because I'm filming a few videos at once, some proper maraschino cherries, because I need my daily fix of maraschino cherry juice. So I'm just going for a maraschino cherry on there as well. I need, I need to buy them for the juice. Oh, <laughs> right. Which is the fate? Which is the best? Oh my God, which is the best? Right, let's do these in order. One, two, three, four, five. That was easy, wasn't it? Right, my favorite, definitely, definitely that. Amazing. It's close. Again, I'm gonna put this one. That is absolutely banging. I absolutely love that. I really, really do. But I'm gonna put that in fifth place. 
because even though it tastes amazing, it doesn't do the whole, oh, wow, to me. Oh. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. There we go. Let me know which ones you fancy trying.